What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on Juice and Toyam. So today I'm gonna take you guys through eight different exercises that you can do to specifically target your glutes, okay? So all of these eight exercises, we're just going to use a barbell, all right? So a good thing about this is you can take these eight exercises and maybe put them into a, an entire glute workout, okay? So all you need is one barbell, eight different exercises. Within these eight exercises, you might already be doing them, but I'm just gonna show you different cues on how to specifically target your glutes while doing them, all right? So let's get into the first exercise. All right, so our first exercise is gonna be a barbell deadlift. So pretty standard exercise. However, there are three cues that can really help you to really target your glutes while doing this movement, okay? So first, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the weight back into your heels. So this is gonna make sure that your glutes and hamstrings and the posterior part of your body is gonna be doing the work. Then you wanna make sure that you're keeping the barbell close to your shins. Okay, this will also help you to keep the weight setting back into the heels. And last, you wanna make sure that you're really pressing your hips back. So doing this is gonna create a lot of tension in your glutes, and wherever you feel the tension, that's where the work is going to come from. So if you're trying to target your glutes here, you really wanna set your hips back and create a lot of tension in the back of your glutes so that we ensure that that is the muscle that is doing the work. So our second exercise is going to be a single leg deadlift, okay? So this is gonna be very similar to a regular barbell deadlift in that you wanna keep the weight back into your heels and also pushing your hips back. Same thing, you wanna make sure you have tension in the glutes. However, doing this exercise, you also wanna make sure that the opposite leg, you wanna keep those toes pointed down to ensure that you're keeping your hips closed, okay? If you open up your hips and point that toe up towards the sky, it's a good way to really hurt your lower back and you're really taking the tension out of the glutes there and then you're no longer working the glutes. You end up targeting your hamstrings, quads, or your knees, which you don't wanna do. So our third exercise is going to be a split stance lunge, okay? So to get into this exercise, you wanna step over the barbell to make sure the barbell is between both of your legs and make sure that you have a nice even grip on both sides. Then you're going to get on the back ball of your foot and then the front foot, you're gonna keep all the weight in your heel, all right? So as you're doing the movement, as you're going down, you wanna make sure you keep your chest nice and tall. And then as you press up, make sure all the weight is in that front heel and try to push up through the heel. Okay, so our fourth exercise is a hip thrust, okay? So for this exercise, you wanna make sure you either have some type of pad over the barbell or over your hips, okay? So doing this exercise, you wanna make sure that the bar is evenly distributed over your hips and then you have a nice even grip on both sides. Going into the movement, you wanna make sure that you really keep your core engaged and make sure that your core is nice and tight as you press up. And when you get to the top, make sure you have a nice flat surface. You don't wanna hyperextend your hips. And then last cue, make sure that you're pushing through the heels as you're driving up and really squeeze your glutes and get them engaged through the entire movement. Okay, so our fifth exercise is a landmine squat. So this is one that you're gonna need a landmine setup. If you don't have a landmine setup, you can also use a sturdy corner and just set the barbell into the corner and you'll get the same benefit of the exercise, okay? So with this exercise, you wanna keep the barbell tight to your chest. And then same thing, just like the barbell deadlift, you wanna make sure that you're sitting deep into your heels and make sure that you're feeling tension in the glutes as you come up. Once you feel that tension, drive up through the heels and really squeeze the glutes at the top. For our sixth exercise, we're also gonna use a landmine setup and we're gonna do a deadlift. So with this movement, it's the same cues as a barbell deadlift. You wanna make sure that you're keeping the weight back into your heels, push your hips back and really feel the tension in your glutes. However, your hands may be a little closer together, which may force your shoulders to round a little bit. So you just wanna make sure that you're mindful of keeping your chest open and keeping those shoulders pulled back throughout the movement. So for our seventh exercise, we are going to do a staggered deadlift, okay? So for this one, you're gonna be in a staggered stance position. To get into this position, you just wanna make sure that you're one foot over and one foot back, okay? 
So this position allows you to feel more tension in one side of your glute. So it's very similar to doing a single leg deadlift. However, it takes a little bit of the balance out of it, okay? So you're gonna have both feet on the ground. As you go down into the movement, your back heel is going to come up and then as you drive up, all of the tension and weight is going to be in that front leg glute and pushing up through the heel. So our eighth and final exercise is a Bulgarian single leg deadlift, okay? So this one, you're going to have one foot elevated. You can use a box or a bench, just as if you're doing a Bulgarian split squat. However, instead of driving your knee down to the ground like a lunge, you're going to hinge, okay? So just like our other deadlift cues, you wanna make sure that the weight is back into your heels, that you're pushing your hips back and really feeling tension in the glutes. And then as you come up, drive through that front heel and really squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. All right, so those are eight different exercises that you can do to specifically target your glutes all using a barbell. So you can put these exercises together and create a nice glute workout out of them, or you can take these exercises and add them into your workout. If you're already doing some of these exercises and you don't find that you're really feeling your glutes, see if some of these cues help you to really target the glutes a little more specifically. All right, so if you like this video and these exercises helped you out, leave a comment below. Let me know if you give them a try. And don't forget to go check out some of our other workouts. We also have other booty workouts, upper body workouts, follow along workouts on the channel for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Toya Sherelle and make sure you follow Juice on Instagram at Juice in Texas and we will see you at the next video.